ALSCO.com. Again, there's ALSCO.com to learn more about what they can provide for your business. Richard K. Mack doing we do. Rocking out as always. Rocking out this morning, we got the firm, Pam Thompson Smith. Good morning. Doing what you do. Yes. Let's sing this one, fam. Let's go. Sing with me. I found the love provides the key. Okay. See ya. Yeah, Unlocks the hardest souls of you and me. So it really is the f- you can't sing it without Earl. I can. Cannot. I can. No, you didn't. I didn't sing it without Earl. No. You approved. Well, you should have never let him figure that out. That is so not true. I mean, he said he's doing? been saying he's been carrying you for uh, a long time. That is so time. not true. I, can I'm we just get tell a duo? I, I'll, I'll tell show you. you that. Well, it's too late now. <laughs> <laughs> it's too late now. No wonder you don't like doing karaoke. <laughs> no wonder you don't like doing I was karaoke. Firing it off this morning. <laughs> Let just, me finish this coffee. I'm coming at you. you. You're not ready, Pam. You're not ready. Welcome to the Sports <laughs> Shop. The Sports Shop Reese K Mac. I'm DK Mac One and with the Sports Shop One. We got the firm. Pam Thompson. We have joining us. What's up, Pamela? Good morning. How you doing? Happy, you go, what is the day? Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Hump it's hump day, people. Woo. If you ain't humping, you ain't trying. I need effort. Maximum effort. Maximum effort. Yes, all day long. We rocking out as all. Well. We got a real good show playing today. We're going to have a good time. Mm-hmm. We got eight time behind the glass. What's up, A? How you doing? Good morning, sir. I'm um, doing well. How you guys doing? I'm doing pretty good. I'm pretty good. Yeah, you, you know, real sunshine out there right now. Uh, yeah. I, know, I, know how you, I know how you get <laughs> where there's no sunshine. A little rowdy, but yes, I'll no hang in there. Sunshine. It's all good. It's I would good. play that song, but since it's uh, <laughs> hump day, I won't. Well, maybe I will. <laughs> I don't know. You gonna play? You gonna play a little go-go for? Sunshine. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Right. All right, all right. Oh, Dear Reese is uh is out on location. He's probably gonna join us in a little bit um, mm-hmm. on video. He's gonna dial. He's gonna dial a little bit because I'm sure he's got plenty to say about the play of my guy last night, <laughs> Zion <laughs> Williamson. Woo, your guy. But it's the you know what? Well, I, I mean, he really that is not bandwagon because he's been your guy. So long that I call exactly. him your son. Exactly, that's my guy. I mean, Zion's been my guy since since he was dunking on people at you know the little Christian school down there in South Carolina. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay. I mean the little private school, whatever little school. I don't forget the little high school we went to. And uh, look, like he lived in the district. Exactly. <laughs> but it's all good. But he had one heck of a game. I'm talking about the Pelicans and the Lakers, which was the first matchup from last night. Um, man, that game. Okay, let's let's be clear. Mm-hmm. If the Pelicans win that game, they 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 won't win the next the, the series that they get into. They just they, right, exactly. They, that team, although there are a couple of players on there, Trey Murphy, some other some other guy. There's some players on there, but let's be honest. C.J. McCollum, I, he was walking around downtown Glenwood last night because <laughs> he definitely wasn't playing in New Orleans. He wasn't in New Orleans last. He, he wasn't there. He was nowhere to be found. I agree. You know, Brandon Ingram, I, I'm going to talk about that in a little detail a little bit later, but just looking in his eyes, either he was had the flu or sick or something. Something else. Who knows? Something. I'm like, whatever, whatever it was, 
basketball was not on his mind last night as well. Then Zion was just there like, what? What y'all do? I'm, t- I'm so gonna put you on, put it on his shoulder. Like, so nobody's gonna go with me. Nobody, nobody else wants to play. Mm-mm. And then they went and found the little man, <laughs> <laughs> Alvarado, my guy. Two oh broke, two look, two bum ankles out there running around doing what he had to do, but he did a good job. But they went down. Of course, they came. They made a, you know, a nice little run at the end. Came back. I think it was right before three, like three right, minutes to go. Three minutes. Right, then it was like yeah. a minute. Uh, maybe 30 seconds, it was like still a three, four, four game. And they just did – what out Zion? Because Zion went out at about three minutes. Yeah, yeah. That uh, changed everything right With there. the muscle injury. But uh, let's get right to it. Let's find out what the status is from the head coach of um, the New Orleans Pelicans on Zion's um, injury. Head coach Willie Green, by the way. Right now, we know his, his left leg – uh, soreness and he's gonna get some imaging on it tomorrow and we'll we'll figure out more. Um, that's the report that I got back. I haven't see, talked to him or anything like that, but we'll see how we feel. We we'll see what happens tomorrow when we get the results back. You know if it was a knee or foot. Uh, I, I I couldn't tell. I, I don't know if it was a knee foot. Once tomorrow, I'm sure I'll have more of an update of, of what's going on with him. Uh, We're gonna push you into telling us what's going on. I don't know about that explanation, Pam. <laughs> Well, he he don't know. He was he kept on coaching, and that's so how he didn't know. No. <laughs> he don't want to tell you. Come on, I couldn't tell. I know you. I, I know, didn't even I know, ask. I, know. I didn't even ask any of the trainers right. that took him back. Right. Well, what'd you do? It was still time left on the clock. You asked somebody what's going on. This is post game. This post game. Mm-hmm. So nobody nobody told you. You didn't talk to him. This is Zion. This is Zion Williamson on the New Orleans Pelicans. Just scoring forty you, points. You are the head coach. You did not talk to your star player. Well, you know, I'm just gonna let him rest tonight. I'll call him in the morning. You did not talk. <laughs> if anyone on this whole in the whole arena talked to Zion, he did right. It should be his head coach. It should be. Yeah. All right, and I didn't get a chance to talk to him. You just gonna lie to me in my face. <laughs> Yes. That's what just happened. Mm-hmm. Let's hear from Willie, uh, head coach Willie Green as he talks about um, having to play the rest of the game without Zion. It was tough. It was tough to, to see him go down. You know, we're all praying and hoping that he's okay, but he was battling. He was going. The team was, was right there with him. So it, it's tough. We'll see what happens, and we'll go from there. It was so tough that you probably couldn't go to sleep without finding out <laughs> and talking to him because. I mean, I'm going to have to hear it later on in the show one more time, but mm-hmm. I don't know Coach Green. Yeah, I haven't got a chance to talk to him yet. Uh, I think he's still in the building. I don't, I'm not sure. But it sure it was, was tough without him. It was tough without him. <laughs> 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 I mean, he was really Bobby. Yeah. Come on, don't do us like that. That might be a bad sign. That's a horrible sign. That's a horrible. Which also tells me I don't see too many surprises. I mean, I saw a few, you know, a few shocks, but mm-hmm. I think he's probably been battling whatever. I don't know if it's his foot, because um, I think he had foot one of the, one of the time he's out. I think it was a foot surgery. Was that right, A Town? Yeah, yeah. I don't know if it was a surgery, but definitely a foot injury. It was a foot injury. Mm-hmm. So probably surgery though. Yeah. But then you know, so you could t- I could tell because he kind of finished the play, mm-hmm. right? So he he kind of finished the play. He was still there, but he was like, he, and he, he was kind of you know wincing and grimacing a little bit, and he kind of said, "Come on, man, get me out." Yeah, he knew he couldn't go any further. Yeah, he knew whatever the problem was. He mm-hmm. knew he was like, "Oh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah." He didn't grab anything. He didn't like yeah. grab his mm-hmm. knee yeah. or foot. So yeah, I've, I've seen people online. They talking about it was Achilles and this and that. I said, "No, no, 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 no." <laughs> Those. You reach for right because oh. <laughs> you look because it's like it's like a, there, there's not it's, I've never seen one where nobody with someone stands and oh, catch kind of wiggle foot. I wonder what that is. Right. No, those you try He's to fix it. it. You try yeah. to fix it. Like oh wait wait a minute mm-hmm. let me let me try to fix That's this. That's true. But I don't know. What do you think last night, fam? What do you think overall about the game? I was I mean I was loving watching <clears throat> Zion do his thing. Yeah. Um. Lakers. 
Well, okay, let's talk about the Lakers. Your Lakers. Let's talk about my Lakers. Let's go. <laughs> I know I was a little, you know, I, was, I wasn't quite on the bandwagon yesterday, but I'm all in. Did they impress you enough to think that they're going to give Denver any trouble? Yes. Really? I believe okay. the Los Angeles Lakers, if they play the way – see, a lot of people didn't really realize that AD was taking the night off last night. Right? Mm-hmm. You know, like his lower back. And, yeah, you know, whatever. yeah. Which he said he'll be fine in a few days because they don't play more until Saturday, I think. If if LeBron, LeBron has figured out how to get the most out of those young – out of those players mm-hmm. without him having to try to do everything – he he has figured he has figured out how to get those guys to step up without him having to try to do everything without them just standing around doing what the Pelicans were doing. Right, wait, just standing around to watching do everything. Yeah, they're right. just standing around watching. <laughs> like you're not gonna move, you're not gonna cut, you're not gonna. Th- and then when they do get to open shots, you know they have so much confidence now they knock it down. Mm-hmm. I mean they were knocking it. I mean you got a um, I forgot the guy with the um, long uh, dreads. Um, they came in for the Lakers. Um, I want to. Paris, Paris. Torian Prince. Prince, Prince, Prince that's it, Prince. Yeah. Torian Prince came in and balled down. He did. Knocked down a couple of shots. You know, did, so that's why Russell I think. Russell did his thing. Well, of course. And he going to do. Yep. Well, so, but if you bet on uh, LeBron's of the j- prop last night, he didn't get. <laughs> he only got well, 23. What was like 28? Wait, I can't wait, remember. Wait, what, wait. I mean, I, I just heard. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> LeBron came up one short. <laughs> it's the people it's, mad. It's the people mad about that. So did I. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the short list, Pam. Yeah. Welcome to the short list. But yeah, I think um, I don't know. But let's hear from Darvin Ham, head coach for the uh, Los Angeles Lakers, as he talks about preparing to play the Denver Nuggets. Extremely, it's an opportunity, and like I said, man, it's back to zero on zero. Obviously, they've had a ton of success against our ball club, but. There's always a new day, and you know my my staff and I have already been putting the groundwork together for that game plan, and we'll get together tomorrow. Other guys, the team have a day off, but we'll start to work the process of building out the game plan and go up there and give it our best shot. That's all we can do. We feel comfortable though. We like where we are. We like where the spirit of our group is. Everybody's chipping in, pitching in, excited about this challenge and this opportunity and respect to them. They have a little ball club. It's the reason why they're defending champs. We, we like our chances. They haven't beat the Nuggets. So. <laughs> <laughs> they haven't beat them since 2022. Yeah, but you like, like your I chances. Like, <laughs> like, 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 seriously, I think they've lost like the last eight. Yes. The last eight times oh, they God. faced one another. I, mean, I think they've lost like the last eight. But they've been working on a plan. See, the problem they have is they, they think they can, it looks like you can win, mm. but the fact that the Nuggets know they're playing LeBron. They all play at a different level. Mm-hmm. The Pelicans are the only team that I've seen when they play the Lakers don't step their game up, you know, collectively. Right. Like one player, you know, go out, but like Ingram never does anything. I mean, they never do anything. No, I mean, they just they just freeze. Whenever they play the Lakers or they play the they just kind of like, like deer in the headlights. Like free. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, man, take that man's picture off your wall. Starstruck. You, hey, look. Look, you a ball player too. Figure it out. You're in the same league. You're in the same league. <laughs> like you have literally been playing him for like the last three years, and you and we walk in, you still go, "Wow, man, that's Bron. That's Bron, man." I mean, that's that's how they play. That's yeah, how exactly. That's how fr- if that's how frustrating it is to watch the, watch them play. Because you think to yourself like, okay, this is pretty good talent on the floor. You got you know Trey, you got Zion, you got these guys. Then you got you know. Um, see, now, now, I got, how much is C.J. McCullough making? Anybody know? Does anybody know I how C.J. McCullough make? I can look it up real quick. Because I want it back. <laughs> I, I'm like, for real, I want it back. There was zero leadership, no vocal, nobody's being vocal last night, nobody, no one's talking, no one, to, they're not doing anything. And I'm just like, what are y'all doing? Like nobody wanted, nobody really wanted to play. You know, it, it it was really, it was really disappointing from a professional NBA franchise with a chance Ooh. to get into the playoffs. So what did CJ make? <laughs> Sixty-four million. 
<laughs> he signed that in uh, 2022, two years. Uh, they got the extension through so, to 2026, 64 million contract extension. So, so the guy we were watching last night mm-hmm. makes $34 million. He made $34 million in this season. Yes. To do what he did last night. It was $34 million divided by 82 games. I, want my money I don't back. know, but the math ain't I want math. My, I want That's my money. all I know. I want my money back from last night. <laughs> I'm serious. I want my money back from last night. Don't you think so, Pam? I agree, but, I mean, you know, everybody has a bad game. That bad game? He didn't show. He didn't show, Pam. You, you got to show it for the big games. All right, he owes me $42,000. I want it back right now. I need forty two. I want all of it back. Forty two k. Mm-hmm. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Hey, did, were you impressed? How many points did he have? Last no, night? I was not impressed. Four. Yeah. Let's see, four. <laughs> I mean, I, I think he made a shot toward the end when uh, Zion was out. Like he had no choice. Like it was an accident. Right. Like it went in by accident. He had nine. Woo, you were close. <laughs> <laughs> Nine points. Yeah, nine points. Yes. Nine points, huh? So, so we just pay him five thousand dollars a shot. Pretty much. I mean, the whole team. I mean, Zion had forty, but everybody else. No one Ten, eleven, twelve, four, nine. Mm. That's and, it. And then Brandon started. Brandon Ingram started started out playing. Then he. Yeah. He came back to Kinston. He had eleven. Yeah, you know, he started out. You know, I was like, okay, this is gonna mm-hmm. be nice. Yeah, and then he stood out there the most time trying to figure out how to pass and look like magic. I think he was coming back from injury, though. What injury was it, though, by the way? A uh, knee injury. Mm. So, so I think I think they're, like, ramping him up, kind of. Mm. I does think he, he was on a minute's restriction, possibly. Does he know he's supposed to be ramping up? <laughs> I mean, I guess they got the seven seed for a reason. They have another opportunity uh, <laughs> on Friday, I think, or Thursday. But if you say, if you look at it, he did his part. He came out. Gave him a quick spurt, mm-hmm. quick run. He said, all right, Cole, that's all I got right now. And said that, which is cool. Yeah. If that's, you know. If that's all he can do right now. But he, well, the rest, but the rest of them? <laughs> they don't have any, it was any horrible. excuse. It was horrible. It was horrible, man. We got so many things to talk these, about. Their stats, it was just not good. And I don't I don't know how to feel about that uh, Sacramento game and the Kings and the Warriors. Oof. Uh, yeah, I do. I'm going to stop lying. I do know how to feel. Hey, Tom, what, what, what do you have for me? That was horrible, too. Yeah. You started it, crying, didn't you? I didn't. Because it was, this is over. This is it. I didn't cry, but I I think the dynasty this is, is over. It. What you got, Tom? Life is unpredictable, and you and your beneficiaries deserve peace of mind by having a plan in place. Do you need to make provisions for your minor children, perhaps on special needs? Do you want to define your wishes rather than have the courts decide for you? You need to safeguard your assets to ensure your plan is followed. Will your beneficiaries be burdened with tax consequences? These are just a few of the reasons why. You need to contact David Tarbett at the bank's law firm. Call 919-474-9137 today to schedule a free consultation. When we come back, we continue to talk about last night's play-in games, and then we'll switch gears a little bit. Let's talk about what's coming up tonight. Next on the Sports Shop, let's go. It's the vibe for me, the Sports Shop. On Buzz Sports Radio. The Adam Gold Show. UConn laid waste to everyone. They have won two consecutive titles. They have not played a game in single digits yet. Oh, wow. Every win is a double digit win. Yeah. It was pointed out they covered the spread all 12 games. They were awesome. Yeah. Here, hold my beer. The Adam Gold Show, weekday starting at noon on 99. I'm the fan. Attention all cigar smokers, this is Stevie from The Cigar Box, the number one cigar shop in the Triangle. On Tuesday, April 23rd, The Cigar Box will be hosting the second annual Spring Fling Cigar Event starting at 6 p.m. at Ray's Steakhouse located in Cary. There'll be food, cash bar, free swag, raffle items, and most importantly, cigars. The event will feature four brands, Oliva, Aladino, General, and Davidoff. With a low price of $50 per person, you'll receive four cigars, raffle tickets, and major 
major discounts on the purchases of all cigars. If that's not enough, you'll also have the chance to win a DuPont limited edition lighter valued at $2,000. So here's how to save your spot. Visit our carry location to purchase your ticket or just show up at the event and pay at the door. Last year was sold out, so make sure you reserve your spot early. For more info, go to our website at thecigarboxnc.com. We will be looking forward to seeing everyone on April 23rd for the event of the year. And always remember, the Cigar Box, where the customer comes first. Looking for a great deal on golf gear? Then swing by Global Golf's newly remodeled store and see why we're North Carolina's largest pre-owned club store. This week, receive an additional 15% off pre-owned clubs and great deals on bad shoes and apparel. You'll also find the latest from TaylorMade, Callaway, Titleist, and more. This Saturday, save even more at our sidewalk sale. It's all happening this week through Saturday at Global Golf, located in North Raleigh, 7320 ACC Boulevard. Open Monday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Attention soccer fans, North Carolina FC invites you to be part of the excitement. Join us in our electrifying games with top-tier players, thrilling goals, and unforgettable moments. Experience the thrill of this beautiful game with North Carolina FC. Get your tickets now, NorthCarolinaFC.com. Have you ever had a mammogram? I could never really afford one until now. New job with benefits? Same job with NC Medicaid. Full coverage, low or no co-pays, prescriptions too. See if you qualify at Medicaid.nc.gov. Imagine waking up this time next week and being 100% debt-free from credit cards, car loan, and personal loans. Hey, it's Dennis Cox. Loan Pronto's Equity Express line of credit can make it happen. Homeowners are turning their home equity into cash almost instantly. With Loan Pronto's AI-based system, you can get approval in about 10 minutes. With almost no documentation, no appraisal, and no hassle, you can get hundreds of thousands of dollars out of your home. You Use that money to pay off all your other loans. The average homeowner saves over $850 a month doing this. Listen, your home value is way up. You can use that to wipe out all those credit cards. Get some money for a home improvement. Literally hundreds of thousands are at your fingertips, and approval is just minutes away. Call now, 919-381-1760, 919-381-1760, loanpronto.com, 919-381-1760, NMLS 1661781, subject to lender approval, equal housing lender. Without the ones like you who work tirelessly to keep things running, everything would suddenly stop. Stop. Hospitals, factories, schools, and power plants, they all depend on you. No matter the weather, emergency, or time of day, you're the ones who get it done. At Granger, we're here for you with professional grade industrial supplies. Count on real time product availability and fast delivery. Call clickgranger.com or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. It's been said that when someone you love has Parkinson's, you have Parkinson's. The Parkinson's Foundation knows that the disease doesn't just affect the diagnosed. It affects everyone who supports and helps care for them. If you or someone you know is living with Parkinson's, a neurological disease that affects movement, we understand that it can be difficult to know where to find help. If you have questions, the Parkinson's Foundation has answers. Answers for everyone in the fight. We can help you understand the disease help you find expert care and local support, give you tips for living a better life, and share the latest research. Find your answers and join us in the fight against Parkinson's. To learn more, please go to parkinson.org or call 1-800-473-4636. That's 1-800-473-4636. The Parkinson's Foundation. Better Better lives together. You're listening to The Sports Shop with Reese and k presented by Halsco Linen and Uniform Rental Services. Halsco, the worldwide leader in linen and uniform rental services for restaurants, healthcare, the automotive industry, and industrial facilities. Come on now. Come on, let it rock on you for a minute. What's up with your big club feel? See, that's the thing. See? Go, go, you gotta let that. You gotta, you gotta wait till you find that pocket, see? 
Then you just stay there for a minute, man. Just gotta touch. Just gotta stay there. Stay there, hey. Gotta feel it. A-Town, boy. Man, man, man. Hey, do you ever heard of Go-Go before you came on the show? I probably heard like a song or two, but not like yeah. this. No, yeah, no, not like this. You all in now, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> see, see, look. He can't wait to win. See, this, 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 this is what happened to our last producer. Yeah, it was somebody that didn't know didn't know much about Go-Go and then they fell in love. Uh, was it? Di- no, it was Michael Shell. Okay. And then we lost to the Chocolate City. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's what happened to the last guy. Uh-oh. Did he start his own band or anything? Or? <laughs> <laughs> no. No, he didn't start no, his own band. No, he didn't start his own band. That's <laughs> but, funny. But look, <laughs> he got drawn to the city. He did. Going to the district. Gone. Man, living his, uh, living his best life in D.C. You know, look, Go-Go, he can, he can stand. But you know who shocked me the most? My main man Dennis. Yeah, he didn't. He got into it too. He was no. He, or he was already in exactly. to go go. Okay. He said that's what they used to play on the on on road trips that's on the right. bus in college. That's right. When the team would be going places, that's all he played is go go music. So that's that's how he knew I was it. Hmm. I said, "Will I be down gone? Look at that. The things you learn. Mm-hmm. The things you learn." Hey, welcome back to the Sports Shop. Sports Shop, Reese K. Mac. It's hump day, people. If you're not humping, you're not trying. You're not trying. You sit right here in the middle of the week. You got an opportunity to reset, refresh, refocus, and finish strong. So let's try to do that. We're rocking out this morning, as we always do. We got the firm, Pam Thompson-Smith. Good morning. What's up, Pamela? How are you? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> I'm good. You tell me. You all right over there? I am good. You all right? Yes. <laughs> you sure? Hump day. We're yeah. almost there. I was blown away. I came in here, Pam, like she'd been here for like an hour or two. I had all. <laughs> well, I had some. You know, there's always something. No, no, so, you know. I'm afraid to even ask. Just, you know. I'm afraid. Internet I'm issues. Afraid to even ask. So, I said, let me just go in early and so do your, my research. So, your internet's went out? <laughs> <laughs> all of them. I was like, what? I, I said, I was thinking, I said, Pam, you got hotspot on your phone. You got, you got really internet. You got, you got all types of internets. I know, but it was just easier to just yeah. come on in and do it. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm not mad at that. It's all good. Well, I'm glad you know. Glad you were here when I got here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you were glad to see you. You know in. what? I'm gonna leave that alone. <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm, oh, you think Reese don't tell it on you? <laughs> <laughs> I will leave You think that he don't alone. tell it? He tell it on you all the time. Oh my Pam. god! We got my main man H L behind the glass. What's up, A? Doing well. Feeling yeah. good. Feeling good? Yeah. Don't worry. We're going to get there. By the end of this show, trust me. We're going to be We're going to be there. On 10. We're going to be there eight times. Sun's going to be out. Guns be out. You'll be good to go. I hope so. you be the man. So, did we come up with a poll question yet on this hump day? We did. What did we come up with? So, the poll question can be found on X, formerly known as Twitter, through Bus Sports Radio or the Sports Shop 1. Mm. And the poll question presented by Oak Grove Tech, Golden State is out. Clay Thompson is now a free agent. What do you do as mm. Warriors leadership? Rebuild or run it back? And one hundred percent are saying rebuild. Okay. Really? No Sport- run it no run it back. All right, sports shop fans. I wanna be let's be uh um uh, general managers for a day. Give us a call, nine one nine, eight nine zero, six two zero zero. I wanna know two things. How do you feel about the Warriors last night? Mm-hmm. About this run? Is it truly over? What do they do next? And lastly, how did you feel about Zion's uh, A, play, and his departure in the Pelicans? Hmm. Mm. See, see, Pat want to be nice, but she really, she really, you really want to go in. I could tell. On oh, which team? On the Pelicans. You really want to go in. <laughs> I could tell. I could tell. But you, co- but you be holding back. But don't hold back. I like the Pelicans. I didn't say I you didn't like like my team, but. I'm, I'm just talking about what you witnessed. <sighs> That's it's not about what you like. It's, it's about what you were watching last I night. I was proud of Zion until he got hurt. So now what? Because I used to talk about him so bad. I I, I know you I did. Feel bad. I know you did. <laughs> y'all, that's how y'all did. That's how y'all do though. But he other people really you would never stepped up. Other people like like a Steph or a Clay or somebody else. You would have never said those those type of things about them. That's how that's how y'all that's how y'all treat us. Who is us? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Who are they? You know, 
<laughs> young, uh, Who's us, your day? Us young and talented people. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> this is how y'all treat us. But anyway, let's talk about last night's get our second game from last night. Let's talk about the uh, uh, the Golden State Warriors and mm. whew, the Sacramento Kings. Mm. Did that surprise you last night? It did. To see Golden State lose to Sacramento like and that? And the way that they lost. It's the was way it 20-some like. points? Woo! I think it could have been. Oh, 24 points. I think it could have been 60. They were putting a foot down. Yeah, that was very surprising. But Golden State played well in the beginning, but then it just, you know, Sacramento said we won't be, we, we, we're not losing. Basically, Sacramento said we're not losing. So. And they need the trio. I mean, they need uh, contributions from Steph, uh, Day Day, <laughs> mm-hmm. and Clay. He didn't get any points. We're done. He's Clay, done with Clay. We're, we're done. No run it back. No. 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 Because he's a free agent, I think, coming good. up. Well, now. That's yeah. good. That's that's phenomenal. I hope he gets another shot somewhere else. But it's just one of those things where they just they just didn't have it. Let's hear from Draymond Green mm. um on his confidence that the core will stay will be together. Where? In the in the afterlife? I mean what? <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear from Draymond Green. I have no reason not to. Um, oh, okay. You know, they suck with us through the good and the bad. It's not so great this year, but can't win every year. So, yeah, I do have confidence until it's no longer. Ooh. Let's hear from Steph Curry mm. um, as he talks about the confidence of the core. Just knowing how we're built. I mean, we obviously understand the league has changed and, you know, we're getting deeper into our careers and we have to continue to evolve and, you know, make the necessary adjustments to win games. But we put a, a lot of time into it. I think I work harder than I ever have at, you know, being pre- prepared for a season and trying to, you know, perform at the level that I expect. And I know those two with, with me. Um, they, you know, I just want to win. Unpack that. Uh, what did he, was he see, really saying? He said four things there. Okay. Um, first one was make sure I was prepared. Mm-hmm. That made me believe others weren't. Mm-hmm. Second one is the game changes. You got to be prepared. You got to be ready to make changes. Mm-hmm. You got to go with the game, right? Right. No adjustments made. No adjustments made. Mm-hmm. So, First of all, Steph's not an idiot. Neither is Dray- Draymond, and neither would is, is, is Clay. Mm-hmm. At the, whatever you want to call it, as great as the run has been for three years now, they've not been. No, no, no one on that team has been at the level of Steph Curry. Right. You're not going to win if no one else plays on his level. Someone else has to continuously play and consistently play, rather, on his level. Nobody mm-hmm. else is consistently playing on his level. So we're done. Why waste good years that you have left over Steph Curry if no one else is going to play consistently on that level? What's the purpose here? What are we doing? That's true. Let's hear from Steve Curry, see if he agrees with about what some of us say the future of the team is. <laughs> he doesn't. <laughs> It's too early for me to even think about that. You know, um, you invest so much in in the season and and, um, there's so much that goes on. Um, It's so emotional. It's, um, you know, the the highs and lows of this business are incredible. That's why we're all kind of addicted to it. Uh, You can't find this um, anywhere else in in life. I know I can't. Um, And you have to absorb the, the lows. Um, we've been really blessed here with amazing players and, you know, multiple championships and finals appearances and um, the highest of highs. And um, this is the flip side. This is life. This is how it works. You don't, you know, you don't get to stay on top forever. So um, what happens this summer and going into next year, we'll, we'll worry about that later. Uh, mm. way to answer that question, Coach. <laughs> but I, I, I'm done with all. Dre, Draymond can go. Kaminga can go. I wish he would stay, but he can go. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm I'm good with it. 
Draymond is the contract that he just signed. He can have the money. Bye. Hundred million dollars. Goodbye. All these high contract guys, and I get it. The goal is to get paid and to get paid on the back end of your career because they don't make that much apparently according to them in their early first contract, maybe the second contract. Mm -hmm. And the only way they really get their money up is in these later contracts later on because of the way the CBA, you know, the way it's done, Mm -hmm. right? So I get it. So that's why the numbers are so inflated on the back end. But you end up just like paying just crazy money for production like CJ last night, production Mm -hmm. from Draymond and Clay. and Like you're spending a lot of money. And so, is it is it is this similar to paying paying for your meal at the end versus you know paying for it in the beginning? Because <laughs> these guys great, but they didn't yeah, make that kind of money. That's true. But are we? Because we can't. Because they you can't tell me it's worth a hundred million dollars. You can't tell. You can't tell whatever you said it was. Yeah, hundred. You right. Yeah, you million. you can't tell me it's worth a hundred million dollars. But you could tell me what he did four years, five years ago was mm-hmm. worth a hundred million dollars, but he didn't make a hundred million dollars five years. He made right. like twenty. So he getting he's getting it on the back end, right? So this is the tip. That's what we do. We pay him the tip. Yeah, <laughs> but you don't get the same effort that you got on the front end. But how bad did it hurt them for him to be out so long? Oh, tremendously! Mm-hmm. Because you build no continuity, the team is not. It, at, at the end of the day, they don't have enough talent playing at a high enough level consistently. Mm-hmm to win anything other than to get the way they were. That's the, those are the facts. So it is what it is. What you got for me back there, A-Town? Hey there, Sports Shop listeners. It's time to step up our game for the Durham Public Schools Foundation. We're shining the spotlight on this incredible nonprofit dedicated to ensuring every student in DPS thrives thanks to the power of our united community. You can make a big play by donating or volunteering. Your support is the game changer our students need, helping to provide the resources and opportunities they deserve. Take action today by visiting BullCitySchools.org. Whether you're giving a little or giving a lot, signing up to volunteer or spreading the word, you're making a difference. Together, we can achieve amazing things for our students. Durham Public Schools Foundation and Sports Shop Shop listeners, let's team up for our kids. Hey, when we come back on the other side, we continue this conversation and maybe a little couple, maybe a surprise or two for you. Make sure you check us out on YouTube. Mm -hmm. We're streaming live on YouTube this morning, so same we do each and every morning. Make sure you guys go and check us out at Sports Shop. Reese came back on YouTube, streaming live next on the Sports Shop. Let's go. Sports from a fan's perspective and a lot of fun. The Sports Shop on Buzz Sports Radio. Hey, I'm Tim Donnelly from 99.9 The Fan. And I'm Brian Murphy from WRL News. Sports betting is finally legal in North Carolina. Getting to this point in this state? wasn't easy. How it happened is a backstory worth telling, and that's what we're going to do in a new season of our podcast, A Brief History of Triangle Sports. The podcast is out now. Follow A Brief History of Triangle Sports on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts, or on YouTube. It's time for the Coastal Scholar Athlete of the Month. This is Creighton Blackwell from Coastal Credit Union. This month, we're at Fuquay Marina High School with our newest Scholar Athlete of the Month, Kinsey Smith. How long have you been playing softball? About nine years. I've played since I was like 10 or something like that. My sister brought me into the sport. If it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be here. What does it mean to you to be recognized for your work as a student athlete? Um, it means a lot. Like I'm glad I'm able to represent the school and the team of what the meaning of the Bengal means um, being a ball is like always something my the old coach here coach Clark would say it's always like give it everything you got whether you're in school whether it's in life you just gotta give it everything you got and I'm glad I was able to represent that she's always encouraging she's if not if she's not leading by telling people she's leading people by example she's a quiet leader like she's not necessarily the loudest one she's not always the one that's going to be barking orders and things like that but she leads by example in a quiet way Uh, she had a walk-off hit out here in a huge game Uh, so we found it fitting that for her to have that night kind of brought the team up and then encouraged us to keep fighting for next games that we would have. But that, that night was pretty special. Congratulations, Kenzie. For 20 years, 99.9 The Fan and Coastal Credit Union have been recognizing scholar athletes at Triangle Area Schools. If you'd like to nominate a high school athlete, head to WRALsportsfan.com keyword award. 
Hi, this is Phil Ford. Did you know that Allsco invented the restaurant uniform rental industry? Allsco offers a wide variety of chef wear for any type of restaurant. From fine dining to fast casual, we can outfit your staff in chef coats, cook shirts, and pants. Not only that, but we can clean and press them every week to ensure your staff looks as good as your food. Call 800-408-0208 or visit allsco.com. That is A-L-S-C-O.com to learn more. As a roofer, spring means the start of my busy season, which means I've got to get organized with help from Beacon. I can save time with Beacon Pro Plus and 24-7 access to live pricing, delivery tracking, border history, and more. Plus, this spring, I can earn $1,000 and the chance to win a $25,000 backyard renovation just by buying my certain teen shingles online with Beacon. No purchase necessary. Now that's what I call a spring cleanup. Visit BECN.com for official rules and to start earning entries. Navigating the complexities of estate planning can leave you confused and worried about how your beneficiaries will deal with the loss when the time comes. No one wants to talk about planning for the death of a loved one, but the attorneys at the bank's law firm can help. Life is unpredictable and you and your beneficiaries deserve peace of mind by having a plan in place. Do you need to make provisions for your minor children, perhaps one with special needs? Do you want to define your wishes rather than have the courts decide for you? Do you need to safeguard your assets to ensure your plan is followed? Will your beneficiaries be burdened with tax consequences? These are just a few of the reasons why you need to contact David Tarbert at the bank's law firm. He has extensive experience in creating unique estate plans for individuals that aid families and beneficiaries, allowing them time to heal and process in times of loss. Call 919-474-9137 today to schedule a free consultation. That's 919-474-9137. Disability is not inability. A person's ability may be different, but still an ability. No matter one's race or age, no matter one's physical or mental condition, we all have limitless possibilities. For more than 100 years, Easter Seals has helped the one in four people with disabilities in America live, work, learn, and play. I'm Angela Williams, CEO of Easter Seals. For more information, visit EasterSeals.com. At the V Foundation, V is for victory over cancer. V is for victory over giving up. Don't give up. Don't ever give up. Join our team in the fight against cancer at V.org. This hour of Buzz Sports Radio is brought to you by the Ritchie Law Firm Injury Lawyers. Go to GotBrian.com. That's GotBrian.com. Drill left field. That one back. That one going. Gone. You're listening to The Sports Shop with Reese and K-Mac. Presented by Halsco Linen and Uniform Rental Services. Halsco, the worldwide leader in linen and uniform rental services. For restaurants, healthcare, the automotive industry, and industrial facilities. Oh, yeah. Welcome back to the Sports Shop. The Sports Shop, Lisa K. Mack. It's hump day, people. Come on, let's go. We got the firm, Pam Thompson Smith. What up, Pamela? Good morning. Yeah. Make sure you check us out. We're streaming live on YouTube. I want to see you out there, people. People out there chiming in already. It takes a while for them to wake up, I guess. Well, some people, are, they would have from the jump. I appreciate it. They come in and say good morning. Yes. You know what I mean? 7 o'clock. Yeah, unlike you, Pam. I say good morning. <laughs> like you, you Pam. Then we got eight town behind the glass. What up, eight? I'm feeling good. Feeling good? Yeah. How are we doing on the poll question? So the poll question presented by Oak Grove Tech. Yep, talk to me. Golden State is out. Ooh. Clay Thompson is now a free agent. Yes. What do you do as Warriors leadership? Rebuild or run it back? And one hundred percent are saying rebuild. Absolutely. You can't you can't don't don't do that. <laughs> yeah, the foundation is, is you know have a foundation just get you gotta go you gotta tear it down to the studs right back over. come on no nah, man fun. you gotta tear this thing out to the studs yeah, and start over start over I think Reese is gonna join us here in a second uh, he should be on but uh, I'm gonna find out from the Reese oh I can't oh that's right I wanna ask I got two questions I gotta ask what him. yeah I got I'm gonna put him on the spot too I got two <laughs> questions I gotta ask I'm gonna put him on the Uh-oh. spot about his Lakers about his Lakers. His Lakers? Oh, absolutely. That yeah. is your team, right? You huh? realize that? Yeah, I do know that. Okay. I do know just, that. Just check But it. I've been, a, you know, I'm a diehard Laker fan, though. You know, I'm a diehard Laker fan. As A said yesterday, <laughs> really? Can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> we all love differently. <laughs> well, yeah, there are different ways to love. Some people you know, love we, from a distance. You know, I guess that's what okay. you're doing. You're loving you from a distance. Over? Yeah. <laughs> we all love differently. <laughs> there he is. There we got to get is. you in the middle. <laughs> I'm trying to get in the middle. <laughs> My main man, D.R. Reed. Why, why, when he's on um, location, yeah. he always becomes very white. Mm. I'm trying to get in the middle. Like, yeah. What's up with that? Well, you know, you can't. You can't. Look, you don't want to disturb everyone else in the spa. Is that what it is? <laughs> <laughs> gotta, He's at the spa. Oh, you know, wow. You know, it's a spa you gotta, day. You got to keep it quiet. You don't, yeah. you don't, you don't want everybody else. Because you don't, he don't want to get put out. My, my man, dear, what's going there on, Reed? What's going on, man? What's going on, man? How you guys doing today? Doing good, you? man. Good morning. You get, a yeah, chance, I'm, I'm, you get a chance to see your guy last night? Who's my guy? Somebody, <laughs> my like, main guy, Zion Williamson? That's oh, right. You know who's your guy? Oh, God. <laughs> well, I, anyway, I heard you had a couple of questions for me, and I got a couple of answers for you. How about that? Uh-oh. This, this is going to be interesting. So, number one, have you changed your opinion on the Lakers? Oh, no, absolutely not. They're going down 4-0. Straight. Oh, God. Against the Nuggets. Not even no problem. They're going days. down 4-0. <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah, should they leave? Well, should they even play? <laughs> no, I no, no. I'm joking. I mean, they're not going to beat. They're not going to beat the Nuggets. Absolutely. But they may get a couple wins. They they can't beat them. Yeah, they true. already know it. They already know it. That's so. true. That's true. Even Marvin Ham talking about we're going to go out there and give our best shot. <laughs> we're going to scare them. What the hell you mean? What the hell you mean, Tom? We're going to scare them. We got. What is that supposed to mean? We've been working on it. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to give our best shot when we go up there. Yeah, okay, good. Thank we're you. We're going to scare you. <laughs> we're going to scare you. <laughs> but you ain't won since 19. <laughs> I mean, they haven't won since like 1922 like or 20, 2022 or something like that. I don't yeah, you're know. Right, 2022. <laughs> it's, been, it's been a minute. It's been, it's been a minute. Oh, uh, man. So, hey, real quickly also. But, 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 hey, Matt, yeah, I do have to ask because I was watching the game. I didn't get, I, was, I didn't have the sound. So, is Zion, I mean, First of all, B.I., Brandon Ingram, what was up with him? Why he didn't, is he sick? What's, That's what's what K-May said. Does he have the flu or something? What's going on? Hey, look, his eyes were kind of puffy. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he's got an eye oh. infection like oh. Porter. <laughs> <laughs> like Porter. Uh, his, eyes were, his eyes were kind of puffy. So he, he, saw, he got really, really bad allergies or his, his eyes was kind of puffy. That's all oh, I'm okay. saying. I was just That's I but now 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 A Town did bring up a scenario which I probably I may go along with because he he came out in the beginning of the game and you know he was playing he was playing right, very well right. mm -hmm. and A Town said coming off injury they have him on a minutes restriction so I think once he kind of hit that point you know and he may and he may have had, you know may have felt some you effects. don't have a minutes restriction in the damn playoffs man come on are you kidding me. <laughs> Come on, man, I'm trying. <laughs> trying, trying to give That's him, all you got. Trying to give That's him some grace. I'm saying, look, either your eyes are puffy or you coming off injury. You bet, I, I would suggest you take coming off injury. Right. Exactly. Yeah, okay, okay. That's a, that, that's a better, <laughs> better scenario there. Okay, I yeah. got you. But overall, what did you think about the performance? Did, did we get more this time from the Pelicans in this type of game than we got in the, in the uh, midseason tournament? But first of all, we did get more. And first mm -hmm. of all, I gotta, I gotta get Zion Williamson all the props in the world, man. He played like you better he record. Like Did I, you record that? Did you record that, Aton? You, you, you I mean, it's recording. But, yeah. But, there you go, my but, man. But, but K Mac, just like that dude in other uh -oh. places, uh -oh. he all he always gets hurt though. He always get. I mean, Why you he, he gets hurt. Why you gotta he got that? hurt in the in the most vulnerable time not to get hurt when they needed him. When, 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 when they had it was going down the stretch where. He needed to put the franchise on his back and carry him across the finish uh -oh. line. You he did that? have a franchise on his back. He just, he just had to put him down. Three minutes to go. <laughs> it was only three minutes to go. <laughs> and he just had to put him down and say, can y'all run the rest of the way? <laughs> and they said, no, we don't know how to do that. But no, you're right. He you're, right. you're right. No, but but I, I, I was extremely impressed with him, though. He was yes. unstoppable. Mm -hmm. They couldn't, I mean, AD had nothing for him. Hey. Nothing. So. AD's back is hurting. Again? Okay. Yeah. Injured. <laughs> his feelings. His feelings probably hurt too. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Dang, Reese. I don't know if you. I don't know if you recall the play at the end of the first half when LeBron took it and went coast to coast in three seconds. 
And oh yeah. I mean, I mean, Zion took a coast to coast in three seconds, and LeBron was chasing him. You took it. Look, <laughs> and, Le- and look, and Zion was 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 pulling off. <laughs> and LeBron couldn't keep up. I said, "Boy, I bet LeBron said, damn, I'm getting old. <laughs> I can't keep up with this joker.' Look, hey, I, w- I will he say this ball. though: LeBron looked at, at times he looked kind of old though last night. I gotta admit that. Yeah. Well, I mean, well, I mean, let's, y'all gonna say? It. Let's be honest. He, I mean, when you were playing against 24 year old Zion, you know, who's running like I don't know what. Yeah. And I was just like, mm. and you have to. What did he say? He he was interviewed like I think he's officially played 71 or 72 games oh yeah this season this, this season. is the most this is the most, so this is the most he, ever. And, he and AD has played since he's been with the Lakers this right. is the most that he's played in an entire right. season oh okay okay I got it so that's all right well that makes sense yeah so you know it's a little tougher than, it's a little tougher <laughs> when it gets down to this time of year yeah, that many games yeah so what's the about. latest on Zion injury? Do, do we, what, what is his injury? It's, a, mus- it's a muscle injury. Mm-hmm. Um, well, first of all, Coach <laughs> Coach Willie Green <laughs> said that he hadn't had a chance to talk to Zion. He hadn't chance to talk to any trainers. He hadn't talked to anyone yet, so he doesn't really know the status of Zion or the injury. And I'm thinking, wait a minute, hold on. You, <laughs> you the head coach, and you hadn't right. talked to nobody, even including Zion. <laughs> So I don't I don't know what's really going on there. I got a feeling that it may be his foot again, um, mm-hmm. the way that he was. Oh, running. I hope so, not. I hope not. Yeah. So I hope it's not. And um, they say he's gonna get some imaging done today. Yeah. So we already know that's that's one of those. That's not good. We get some imaging okay. done. So, but it's not. But hopefully it's not as near ACL or anything like that. That's good. So so it's looking pretty good on on that front. So it's looking pretty good. But hashtag. We don't want to say it, but hashtag Reese is right again. Mm. <laughs> Three minutes, all he had. I was gonna say minutes. it. I was gonna say it, but you know. I said, "Well, I can't." <laughs> I just, can't, I just can't believe. I just say to myself, when I saw that, I said, "Really? All I wanted you to do was just finish this game. This one. This it. is the only. This is the game I wanted you to finish, and you were on you were on pace to do exactly what we wanted you to do. But if he had more help, he wouldn't have had to play so hard <laughs> right there in <laughs> three minutes." <laughs> well, that's Reese. Reese, uh, you know CJ McCollum. You, you know, you know. You yeah, know man, CJ is an outstanding player. But you know, CJ, I, I, how many points he had? Like three? How many he had last? Nine. Um, how many? How many did you have? He had nine. <laughs> he had nine more than I did. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so, so, but the but the thing with CJ, you know, he he's the president of the Players Association. He's he's that company guy. He's gonna be all right. He just had a bad game, K Mac. That's what I told him. I was like, you everybody saw, you has saw, a bad you saw, game. You saw the game, right? He taking yeah, back all his money. Okay. 64, 40 well, something. I said, thousand. my man, now, now my you, man now, for Georgia now, Tech. Now you wrote a check for forty two thousand dollars for that last night. You you good with that? My man for Georgia Tech, Alvarez. What's his name? Oh yeah, um, Alvarez. Is it, is it? Yeah, he can go. Yeah, yeah, he can go. Yeah, he's a pain now. But that's the thing. They need a point guard. CJ, where right. are you? What are you doing? I mean, look, yeah. you don't have to be a phenomenal shooter to. To do what he was, I mean, I mean, Elroy, what did he have, like six points probably? I think I got to go back to I only that. think he had six points. <laughs> I mean, so, so you know, I mean, you don't have to a bad game. You mean a bad oh shooting night? There's a difference between a bad game and a bad shooting night. He had a horrible game, period. <laughs> yeah. It was bad. Yeah, I agree. Oh I mean, you, you got, you got Ruj, Hujamari out there just, just weighing him out. He had 10. Who? Who had 10? Albert. Everett? Oh wow. Look at what that. about hey, what what about the Warriors? They're done. And Ooh. uh it's kinda sad. Well, yeah. But Would yep. you run it back with Clay or let him go? No. I, no. I see Clay I see Clay East to play see Clay to play for New York Knicks. They will love him up there, man. Yeah, okay. You know what? <laughs> You know, you know, between you and you know, Kendrick out here talking about maybe CJ should have played Duke. Anyway, hey, man, have a good one. We're we up against it. We're on the other side. We'll see you on the other side. Baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. The Adam Gold Show. UConn laid waste to everyone.
They have won two consecutive titles. They have not played a game in single digits yet. Oh, wow. Every win is a double-digit win. Yeah. It was pointed out they covered the spread all 12 games. They were awesome. Yeah. Here, hold my beer. The Adam Gold Show, weekday starting at noon on 99.9 The Fan. The future of medicine is here at QC Kinetics. QC is the nation's leader in the most exciting revolution in pain management we've seen in decades, regenerative medicine. If you are tired of achy joints, if your joint pain is keeping you from doing what you love, you need to call QC Kinetics now. Surgery, steroids, drugs, these are no longer your best options. Regenerative medicine at QC Kinetics is transforming lives with innovative treatments that deliver lasting results. We're talking natural biologics, using your body's own power to repair and restore or damaged tissue. QC Kinetics is under the leadership of National Medical Director Dr. Mitchell Sheenkup. Dr. Sheenkup is a pioneer in this field with 20 years of clinical work, tons of research, teaching, and publishing. He wants to get you relief with a needle, not a knife. Call QC Kinetics now to learn more about some exciting options. This is a revolutionary approach that can get you long-term relief with no downtime. 919-400-5473. With locations in Cary, Clayton, Raleigh, and Wake Forest. 919-400-5473. The Law Offices of Gregory Reno Williams, PLLC, is here to serve your legal needs in the areas of personal injury, estate planning, civil litigation, and traffic matters. Whether you were injured through no fault of your own in an auto accident, or if you need to complete or update your will, your power of attorney, living will, or trust, or if you're injured through breach of contract, contact GRW Law, where we protect the injured and counsel the insured. You can reach us at 919-282-4696, or you can visit us on the web at grw-law.com. Ready for a new ride? Take a short drive to Wilkinson Chevrolet Cadillac Buick GMC in Sanford. We're one of the only dealers where you can shop GMC and Chevy in the same showroom. It's Chevy truck season. Take up to $5,000 off a new 2024 Silverado 1500 Crew Cab or High Country when you trade in an eligible vehicle. Or get 2.9% APR for 72 months when you finance with GM Financial. Shop today at Wilkinson Chevrolet Cadillac Buick GMC in Sanford. Just a short drive from the Triangle or shop our inventory at WilkinsonCars.com. Chevrolet. Together... Let's try. We at Genie's Crafted Beverages are a team of microbiologists and an engineer. We share our passion for routine ginger consumption. Ginger is nature's superfood, which is full of antioxidants, anti-inflammation, and antibacterial properties. This can naturally heal and support wellness. Our wellness shots contain organic ginger, fresh lemon juice, and locally sourced honey. To enhance the benefits of ginger, we have wellness shots that are made with cinnamon for heart health, pepper for gut health and turmeric for inflammation. We also have kids-friendly version, vegan and zero sugar versions. Our ginger syrups are non-alcoholic concentrated syrups that can adapt to your taste. Come see us at the Raleigh's North Carolina State Farmers Market on Friday, Saturday and Sunday from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. to sample a delicious healthy line of products and learn more about the benefits of ginger. You can also visit us at Genie's Beverages Looking for a great deal on golf gear? Then swing by Global Golf's newly remodeled store and see why we're North Carolina's largest pre-owned club store. This week, receive an additional 15% off pre-owned clubs and great deals on bag, shoes, and apparel. You'll also find the latest from TaylorMade, Callaway, Titleist, and more. This Saturday, save even more at our sidewalk sale. It's all happening this week through Saturday at Global Golf, located in North Raleigh, 7320 ACC Boulevard. Open Monday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Quality Healthcare Rental Services can raise the image of your entire facility. When you use top quality linens and uniforms from ALSCO, you can be assured you will receive industry certified, hygienically clean quality linens with every delivery, saving your facility money in the long run while enhancing your facility's professional reputation. Call 1 800 408 0208 or visit ALSCO.com. Again, that's ALSCO.com to learn more. What is dedication? People ask how your children learn how to ride a bike and you didn't. I just created an environment where they taught themselves and all I had to do was be there. That's dedication. Visit fatherhood.gov to hear more. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and the Ad Council. This hour of Buzz Sports Radio is brought to you by the Ritchie Law Firm Injury Lawyers. Go to gotbrian.com. That's gotbrian.com. Drill left field. That one back. That one going. 
your home for Duke football. WCMC HD2 HD3 Holly Springs, WDNC AM Durham, and WCLY AM Raleigh. The Cubs. I'm WRAL meteorologist Elizabeth Gardner. Cloudy skies as you're heading out to work and school this morning. We'll see dry conditions, though, until right around lunchtime early afternoon. And just a quick shower will roll through. 82 for the high this afternoon. Overnight, we drop down to 61 under mainly cloudy skies. And tomorrow looks lovely. It'll be partly cloudy, hotter with a high of 87. But our humidity stays on the low side. As always, you can visit the Sport Shop website, thesportshopradio.com, to catch up on all things Sport Shop. Helped put together by our friends at Critterville Allies. believes that everyone deserves great marketing, no matter your budget. The team at Critterville can help you with everything digital. That means a logo design or a new website. If you're a small business owner who needs a little help with marketing, you should reach out. Visit Critterville or send an email to marketing at Critterville to the sports shop the sports shop Reese K Mac doing what we do I mean I said it was a good time as always sun's not out yet well it's out but it's not out it's not out for A-Town's uh, liking if you want to look at it right. that way rocking out as always on this hump day if you ain't humping you ain't trying we trying up in here let's get your effort <laughs> let's get your effort on I need, to, I need maximum effort at this point we got the firm, Pam Thompson Smith. What's up, Pamela? Good morning. How we how we working this morning? We good? We good. How we looking out there on YouTube? Everybody everybody acting right? Everybody's everybody acting right. Everybody doing what they should do? Commenting. Yeah, that's it. Good. That's good. Everybody stays out of trouble. <laughs> Kendrick, Kendrick is having fun this morning. Yeah, out Kendrick. There. Be, I could tell. See, Kendrick mm-hmm. is he being messaged because you know he, you know he's good now. Well, if CJ was told he was playing Duke, he, really, he would have played better. Really? That's what Kendrick Why you got to bring that up, Kendrick? <laughs> Why you have to bring that up, Kendrick? It's always, it's always, it's always like that with you. It's okay. Is that is that why he doesn't get along with Zion? Let, Ooh. Me, let me stop. Let me not make. Now up. see you. Let me, you let me, you let me making up a narrative. Let me let me not let me not do that. You making up a narrative? Hey, make sure you check us out. Go out to uh, YouTube um, page and uh, check us out. We stream live each and every day. And today is no different. Coming to you right now on our YouTube page. Got tons of people out there checking us mm-hmm. out. You could be one of those uh, checking us out as well. You can watch us live. We got a towel behind the glass. What's up, A? Doing well, feeling good. There he is. Doing well, feeling good. <laughs> what? You gonna switch it up one day and say feeling good, doing well? I feel. I think I have once or twice. Yeah. It felt, yeah. It didn't. It felt weird, didn't it? It did. Yeah. Yeah. That's what. <laughs> somebody told me that when, when we were. Doing an event one day, and the guy introduced, you know, Reese and I he said, He said, Yeah, a sports show with K Mac and Reese. I was like, Hey, oh, hey, hey man, look. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> hey, look, we own this. <laughs> you, don't mess up the branding. <laughs> <laughs> Say it right. <laughs> Say it right. Don't mess up the branding. We That's do right. we do it this way for a reason. <laughs> we do it this way for a reason. So stay on script, okay? Oh my God. <laughs> stay on script. Please, you gotta, bam, come on. You gotta stay. You gotta stay on script. I know. Absolutely. You gotta, you gotta stay on script, man. Don't you know, don't mess up the brand. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I can't change it. You know what I mean? I can't add a plus over there. Oh, you there. Can add, oh no! Look yeah. at it. But, but, but once it's the brand, though, it's the it, brand. You gotta stay with it. The shield. You can't change it up. You can't be the firm this week, and then next week you become the associate. <laughs> <laughs> That's you know, exactly look, right. Pam, Pam Thompson, the associate. Mm-mm. What? It's Pam Thompson Smith, the, the firm. firm. Exactly. You. 
stay on brand. Mm-hmm. See what I'm saying? What if they start saying the firm, Pam Thompson Smith? You know, whoa, whoa, whoa. you know, that's not right. You gotta do it the right way. Yeah, that's right. Stay on brand. Wait, we don't say it first. You don't say the firm, Pam. I don't know. Let's ask Pam. No, oh no, you gotta say my <laughs> my complete name first. What's up, eh? Hey? Are you sure? <laughs> Look how she look. See, I have to check see, the film, the see. tape. Pam Thompson Smith, the firm. I think I've heard it both ways. Pam? I said it both ways? Look, I've heard it said. Look, I don't know look, who said it, look, but I've heard it said look, both ways. See, see what happens when I mess with your brain? Yeah, you're like, see, huh? See. I got I to gotta fix that. What? I got to put it out there more. <laughs> see, what, see what just happened? Pam, hold the meter change. <laughs> I'm the like, check now. What? Hold the meter just change. Like, wait a minute. Wait, wait, are you are you joking? <laughs> Let me know where that is. We it's need to out there that. differently on social media for the people that steal my page. Okay. They get... <laughs> I swear. But other than that, <laughs> what I don't understand is because you know people try to hack stuff still. They do. Time. They're Matter hacking. of fact, somebody tried that. So I tried to hack my account, uh, my bill account last week, and I just said to myself, "You gonna give it back? Because it's nothing there." <laughs> I mean, what do you? What do you? What do you, what want are you with taking? That? Yeah. What are you taking? Maybe I mean I guess if they hack through all your stuff, they can get access to your accounts. Yeah, get that back too. Your bank account. Oh, they'll get that back. <laughs> they'll get that back too. <laughs> <laughs> they'll get that back too. Ain't nothing, nothing to see. They, 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 they think it's a dummy account. Right. That's yeah. It. He got another account because <laughs> this <laughs> can't be it. <laughs> this cannot be it. This can't be the one. <laughs> he don't even buy gas. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. What, kind of, what kind of account is this? <laughs> hey, town Would you like us to be? Would you like to be? Alex A Town, or would you like to be A Town only? Because you know, since we're working on brand, it's a tough morning. decision. You know, <laughs> yeah, I have so, to think that one through. Yeah, because it brand sticks. It has to stick. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's important. You know, you know, it, it is what it is. How are we doing on the poll question for today? So the poll question presented by Oak Grove Tech: Golden State is out. Clay mm. Thompson mm. is now a free agent. What do you do as Warriors leadership? Rebuild or run it back? And eighty percent are saying rebuild. I don't know about that. I don't know about that, guys. I think, without question, and we're talking coming off the loss last night uh, against the Sacramento Kings, the Lakers, I mean, whew, Golden State went down hard mm-hmm. against the Kings last night. And embarrassing. Embarrassing. They looked like they were all 50 years old. They look disjointed. Mm-hmm. They look like they didn't have what it takes to be to rebuild. Absolutely. I mean, to what you say? Was it what's the, what's the run it back? Rebuild or run it back? They look like they don't have what it takes to run it back. Yeah. They had that look. Some people say it's too soon. Some people say you know, you know, let's wait and see. Some people did. So it's two different statements, mm-hmm. and I want to listen to the two. Listen to what Draymond says mm-hmm. and listen to what Steph says. Okay. Steph laid it all the way out, if you just listen to what he was saying. Mm-hmm. Draymond was being hopeful that he's not going to get caught up in this number because <laughs> there will be some some cost-cutting measures that will take place. Yeah. And you're going to have to be – you got to go. And he knows what he cost the team. He knows what he cost the mm-hmm. team, and he knows he's going to have to go. Clay – Man, I appreciate everything you ever did for us, my man. <laughs> I mean, it was—I mean, it was a hell of a run. Splash Brothers unite, you know, you know, Power Rangers, right. all, all of that. But I do a lot to prepare. Thank you for this game and be ready. And I just want to win. Mm-hmm. And I'm not saying those other two guys don't want to win. What I'm saying is, they don't have what it takes now to play at a consistent enough level and high enough level to win. Mm -hmm. So you got to go get people that can. And those are just the facts. That's right. You can't have Clay constantly getting beat on the perimeter defensively, constantly. Can't have Draymond now. He's a step slower. He's not as quick as he was before. He still knocks down a couple of shots. But just the antics and uh, inopportune times for stuff, it's just diminished his game to where he's not as as aggressive as he needs to be because he can't be. He can't be. Because they're gonna not, call. Exactly. Because they're going to tee him up. They're yep. going to officiate him differently. So it's just all of these little things that go into, okay, maybe it's time. Maybe it's time. Maybe it's time. 
Maybe it's time. But let's hear from um, Steph Curry as he lays out his thoughts, his thoughts on maybe it's time or maybe it's not. Just knowing how we're built, I mean, we obviously understand the league has changed and, you know, we're getting deeper into our careers and we have to to evolve and, you know, make the necessary adjustments to win games. But we put a a lot of time into it. I think I work harder than I ever have at, you know, being prepared for a season and trying to, you know, perform at the level that I expect. And I know that's with with me. Um, Hey. You know, I just want to win. I just want to win. We, we're getting old. <laughs> I, I worked hard to make sure I was prepared. Mm-hmm. And make sure we, I just want to win. I just want to win. I'm just telling you. We got Kendrick calling in. <sighs> let me let me guess. <laughs> I guess I'm, this is my weekly update from Chapel Hill? Definitely not. Oh, okay. Just checking. No, nah, I just wanted to be GM for a few. Oh, 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 yeah. oh. Talk to me. You just. Definitely time to rebuild. Yeah, it's definitely time. Yes, um, Clay is an unrestricted free agent. It's time to just go ahead and let him walk. Yeah, either you bring Draymond off the bench, Ooh. or you trade him to get assets or mm. whatever assets you can get for him. Okay, all right. Yeah, this team, they like you said it yourself. They're all older now. Yeah, mm-hmm. and not to mention Clay coming off the injury. Like, there's not much. They're not gonna get any better from what they are right now. It's mm. only downhill from here now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. So it's like you got the the young boys on the um on the bench that you've been grooming to try to take over. Go ahead, um, let them play with Steph. Let Steph uh, teach some boys how to play, and go from there. And try to get some other pieces that you can um, bring in to fill in and make that roster a little bit better. So I made this suggestion um, early, maybe it was last year, year before. Uh, I felt like Giannis should leave Milwaukee and go to Golden State, and come to Golden State rather, and mm-hmm. I think he can win a championship there, a couple of championships, and they could continue but, to build with that nucleus and it's there. Now I'm thinking but, maybe, like, you need a big free agency signing. If you keep Steph, if you keep Steph, and Draymond moves on, mm-hmm. and Clay definitely moves on, and you keep some of those younger guys, you need a big free agent signing if you want to be remain at that top echelon, being being competitive. But see, I think Milwaukee is in a better place than Golden State is right now, and not to mention Milwaukee brass has shown Giannis that they're doing whatever it takes to try to make that team better to get him in another position to win a title. They got the best coach. So, they got it all. Okay. Well, uh, what's so the what's the coach? What's the coach? Yeah. <laughs> so I was gonna say, so let's be let's be let's be clear now. All, so, uh, yeah. Players on the court they're doing they're taking strides with, but coaching they still gotta figure that part absolutely. out. Yeah, they got work to do. They have work yeah. to do. They have work to yeah. do. Yeah, yeah. Because you got to yeah. think, uh, what's the coach for um, uh, Philly that took uh, that took the Philly job? Uh, Nick Nurse. He he declined the job. Woo. Yeah. He said, "Nah, bro, I don't want no parts of that. No, nah, <laughs> no, nah, I'm good." So I hear what you say, Kendrick. That Milwaukee mm-hmm. is poised and they're ready. They're doing the things on the court. Something is wrong. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Something definitely. is wrong, and I've said this all along that since that run, they haven't been able to consistently put anything together. And I think something is wrong, and it's the way they, they – I don't know if it's the way the franchise is trying to cater to Giannis, which is nothing wrong with that. No. Because right, Giannis, right. by the way, Giannis is doing exactly what he said he could do. Yeah. Like, he had not missed a beat. Absolutely, yeah. But, yep. but they haven't done anything else. And I think um, – what's the point guard uh, that left uh, after that run? Drew Holiday. Drew Holiday. Mm-hmm. That's the, I think that's the biggest mistake they made. Just yeah, to, I agree. I agree wholeheartedly. Good luck over on my ag- side with the Celtics. I don't disagree <laughs> with uh, with bringing in Dame, but I feel like you could have done something else to keep Drew Holiday around. That and keeping Drew Holiday around only would make us look and say, "What the hell did we go get Dame for?" Right. Because Drew Holiday, I don't, what what do we get different? Matter of fact, I know what we got. We we had less, much less defense, mm-hmm. and points product point production is when he feels like it. So. What the hell did we gain? Right. Yeah. 
Not to mention when you're asking Dane to play defense, which he hadn't been known to do. No. You're taking away a little bit from his offensive game. Which – because now he got to exert himself on both ends of the court. Ooh, shame on us and asking a hundred million dollar man to play all, to play defense. Oh I boy, I don't do that. Oh boy. Hey, it ain't the first time we've seen that in the NBA. That's true. So <laughs> he said, "I'm a specialist." <laughs> said, Basically, I'm a star. He said, he said "I'm a specialist." All when right. The so last time you heard anybody say Dame is an all defense, all world defensive player? Well, Not you gotta, at all. Well, you ain't gonna be all world, but at least know how to spell defense. At least, yeah. at least what it starts with. They didn't teach that at Weber State. Yeah, uh, I don't, bro, look. They didn't at, teach that to at, him at, at all. At this point, they took all the D's out of the <laughs> out. And look, there are no D's in the dictionary at Weber State. Exactly. <laughs> at, at all. <laughs> hey, last kid before I let you get out of here, man, what's your take on Zion from last night? He's young. He's still trying to figure it out. Give him more time. I think he'll I think he'll come around. Mm. I think he's I think he's a smart player. He's hella athletic. Give him a little bit of time. I think he'll figure it out. I think he needs. Uh, I think he needs a more veteran presence to help push him along. Mm. Well, send Zion to the Warriors. Yes, absolutely. That would be a I no-brainer. Feel, I feel like they gave they gave him the keys to the franchise, and they're asking him to put all this weight on his shoulders. But I don't think they've really had anybody really trying to show him the way. I mean, Willa Green, he he put in years in the NBA, but Willa Green won't ask to be a leader. Yeah, Willa Green sound like he out there leading Bible study. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and, 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 I'm sorry. There's nothing wrong with leading Bible nothing study. Nothing wrong with leading Bible <laughs> study. <laughs> My bad. I'm sorry. I, that's not what I meant. What I meant that's was, that's what it sounds like. <laughs> Yeah, that's all. That's the wrong team to do Bible study with. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Oh, rah, rah. Lord knows that's the wrong team. <laughs> <laughs> See y'all wrong for oh, that. Shoot. I tell that back. It might be the right team. <laughs> y'all wrong. <laughs> Maybe they do need. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's what they need. We need some up here. <laughs> Maybe that's what they need. You got some over here doing like what? What is that? You, what's that in your mouth? What are you doing? Then you got other ones over there on the phone. Like get off that phone. <laughs> Look, what? What? <laughs> well, that's a, oh that's a tough team. You're probably right. That's probably the team they do need Bible study. So uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, so they do need that. But it was just unfortunate last night to see that in the beginning they were all out there asking for order, with the exception of Zion. They were mm-hmm. asking for autographs from LeBron, and then somebody said, "Hey, you know you in a basketball game, right?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You in the same league? <laughs> like, they were literally out there asking for autographs. Like, hey, man, sorry about that foul, but do you mind, you know, signing this for? Oh my god! I mean, yeah, like, come on, man, play. That's right. You just want to smack yeah. him in the back of the head, man. It's just like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, what are you doing? I don't understand it. But anyway, Kendra, I appreciate you, man. Thanks Thank so much. You. All right, y'all. Have a good one. All right. <laughs> Can't you be getting me with that? So he, said, he, said, <laughs> he said, maybe they do need Bible study. Maybe. So, Let me rethink that, he said. I don't know. So, but I just, a couple times I wanted Willie Green just to just stand up, just slap, just, just slap the hell out of couple Like, <laughs> like you going to play? Like, because like, if you're not going to play, let me know. And I guess I put somebody else in the game. Right. Like, come on now. And the rest of them over there, you know, being chilies on the end, <laughs> I wouldn't even bring them out of the tongue. I wouldn't, let, like, a little, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't let you sit here. Yeah, when you look at the stats, they didn't they didn't help Zion too much. Too much? At all. At all. Four quarters? That's what they came up with. Some of them guys had like 30, 40 minutes, 30 minutes. Yeah, absolutely. With nothing. Four, ten, nine points. I, what are you doing? Yeah. Anyway, there's a lot to unpack there, but we got so much to talk about. But I think it is time though, um, that the Warriors Move on. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to just leave it like that. I ain't going to talk too bad about Draymond, but he probably be the first one I let go. Hey, town How you doing back there, my friend? You doing all right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> End of an era, perhaps. It is sad, in a it way. It is kind of sad, yeah. You know, the Splash Brothers and all of the hype and mm-hmm. just, yeah, 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 but it's, it's, this is it. That that could be Clay's last time. This is it. In a warrior uniform. And he had zero points. <laughs> How many? Zero. How many? Zero. You still, still we have an answer. Mm-hmm. He had a bad night. There we go with the bad night again. <laughs> <laughs> there we go with the bad night. But zero? <laughs> he didn't stop shooting. He was 0 for 10, so I, I respect it. Yeah, he did not stop shooting. 
I wonder what his plus minus was. He probably gave up. Well, I guess it would be, he, first of all, he's going to be minus. Exactly. <laughs> so that's a, that's a guarantee. But it's just hard to see, man. It's hard to see. You got the Pelicans on one end where they're out there asking for autographs, taking <laughs> selfies with LeBron. You know what I mean? And then you got you got the Warriors on this end where, you know, they just don't have, they don't have nothing left in the tank. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> it was just a it was just a sad night of endings. It was an ending. Yeah. So it is what it is. Hey Town, what do you have for me, man? <laughs> The Kappa Foundation of Cary will be hosting its annual Golf Classic on <laughs> Saturday, May 18th, 2024. Registration is currently open, and the tournament community oh committee, in conjunction with the team at Lockmere Golf Club in Cary, have an exciting afternoon of golf planned for all those who participate. The tournament will be played under a two-person captain's choice format. Women are also welcome to participate. The tournament includes lunch, swag bags, refreshment stations, and a post-tournament awards dinner. Please join several of your local sports celebrities and golfers of all skill levels as they come together to support our community. Registration details can be found by navigating to the golf tournament section located at carrycappas.org forward slash KFOC. The tournament organizers can also be reached via phone at 919-297-8301 or by email at kappafoundationofcary at gmail.com. Reese out there acting up on he YouTube. Is. Y'all That's go out, funny. Y'all go out there and mess with Reese on YouTube. He out there acting up on YouTube. <laughs> Talking about hard to get motivated if your coach named Willie. And everybody has one. <laughs> <laughs> no, somebody. Grew up with somebody named Willie Green. <laughs> That's Willie! hilarious. Willie! Willie! Willie Green! Yeah. Now, no, stop. My grandfather's name was Willie. Was it? Mm. Was it Willie Joe? <laughs> We're going to talk about so oh, much more when we come back. Y'all keep listening in, man. We got so much fun we want to talk about. Let's go. The NBA playoffs are unpredictable. We saw that last night. But you can get you can wager confidently with BetMGM, an authorized gaming operator of the NBA. Hey, this is K-Mac. Guys, I'm telling you, BetMGM is the place that you want to be to start all your wagering. Wagering in North Carolina is in full effect. And the NBA playoffs are where you want to start right now. The NBA playoffs are so unpredictable. But BetMGM is the place to be. Authorized gaming operator of the NBA. You got bonus bets. You got uh, signature parlays, same game parlays. You can do it all on the BetMGM app. Make sure you guys go out there and check it out. See BetMGM.com for terms, 21 plus only, North Carolina only, existing customer offers subject to eligibility requirements, rewards are non-withdrawable bonus bets that will expire in seven days. Gambling problem? Call 1-877-718-5543 or visit morethanagame.nc.gov. You're listening to The Sports Shop with Reese and K-Mac, presented by Alsco Linen and Uniform Rental Services. Alsco, the worldwide leader in linen and uniform rental services for restaurants, healthcare, the automotive industry, and industrial facilities. We were born ready. Let's go, Hurricane! The Stanley Cup Playoffs. Burns, rebound, score, Seth Jarvis. Let's go, K! Dean, wide open, rebound, and what a save by Warloff settled, shot right on, gets with a second try, swim against him, they score! The win or go home season arrives soon. 99.9 The Fan, the Triangle Sports Leader. Enjoy the ride. Dane's almost world famous chicken and waffles, man. The place we gotta be when your appetite is right. Dane's parents are world class comfort food combinations meant to fulfill your appetites and heart's desire. From first timers, like me, not really. To be barnyard veterans, like me, that's really you. Yep. Dames and almost world class chicken and waffle inspirations are truly palate pleasing parents. And they offer something for everyone, from the big ones to the little ones. Dames has an atmosphere for everyone. You can check them out, guys. Go over to 823 Bass Pro Lane in Cary, North Carolina, or you can check them out in Greensboro, 301 Martin Luther King Jr. Drive mm. in Greensboro, North Carolina. In Durham, the wait is over. Dame's Chicken and Waffles is open at 530 Foster Street in Durham. Make sure you guys go and check them out. The brand new location is fantastic. Dame's Chicken and Waffles is better than ever. Be careful. These dishes are truly smack your mama good. Hello. 
I'm Brian Lane, owner of Sticks and Vines, a wine bar and cigar shop in the South Point area of Durham, North Carolina. Are you looking for a little soul in your wine bar? Do you want to get some local personal service from your cigar shop? Sticks and Vines has you covered. Sticks and Vines is an inviting, diverse, and soulful atmosphere that caters to both experienced and newbies to the wine and cigar communities. Bringing others together is our mission in more ways than one. Sticks and Vines in the Renaissance Center at South Point in Durham, 6905 Fayetteville Road. Is your business looking to reach a wider audience? Look no further than the Sports Shop Radio Show. Our show is the fastest growing and most active sports talk show on the air today. And advertising with the Sports Shop has the potential to greatly benefit your business. Not only is our show fun, we also cover a wide range of sports topics and have amazing connections with mega sports stars. Plus, we feature cultural references and influences with sound effects and great music from the last 50 years. The Sports Shop Radio Show is designed for anyone who loves sports. And as a business, you can take advantage of this by by placing ads on our show to reach a large number of potential customers. Remember, in radio advertising, good ratings and listeners do count. The hosts, Reese and Kamak, along with a wide array of regular and special guests, engage in real talk about real sports for real fans. Reach out today to place your ad with The Sports Shop and take your business to new heights. Email us at info at thesportshopradio.com or call 919-890-6200. This is Gordon Miller, founder of Miller Lending & Carey, with two exciting announcements. Back in 1950, my father and uncle moved to Detroit and opened Miller Brothers Realty, a business they ran for the next 50 years. Fast forward to 1996, and I moved my family to Raleigh and opened D&J Mortgage, a company I had named after my children. And today I'm happy to announce my sons Daniel and Justin will be leading Miller Lending as we head towards 100 years in real estate and lending, all the while following the one basic principle I learned growing up in that environment. Always treat your customer as you'd want to be treated yourself. Now, while Miller Lending has long been associated with our popular No Closing Cost program, I'm also excited to announce the opening of our Purchase Money Division with a strong emphasis toward helping first-time homebuyers navigate the mortgage process. So whether you're buying a new home or simply refinancing the home you're in, call Miller Lending and experience the benefit of working with a locally owned family business. In Cary, 919-447-3377 or simply apply online at MillerLending.com. Miller Lending is an equal housing lender, NMLS number 250-2146. Aunque no estás, soy a mi lado, yo sé que tú vas a llegar. Los girasoles nunca dejan de girar. My name is Luis Fonsi. A lot of people don't know enough about Alzheimer's and dementia. We've seen it in movies, we all know somebody, but, but there's a lot of information that people still don't know. I'm personally still learning so much about it. I would say to those people who have loved ones who are going through it, don't be afraid to ask questions. Don't be afraid to get help. Don't be afraid to put it out in the open because it will be better for them and for their loved ones. Con la certeza que respiro, te amaré. Resources are available at alz.org and by calling the Alzheimer's Association's 24-7 free hotline at 800-272-3900. Real conversations, local gossip, and community affairs. The Sports Shop on Buzz Sports Radio. Hands up. All my neighbors in the houses, get your hands up. Get your hands up. Get your hands up. All my neighbors in the house, get your hands up. I like it when we did it, when we, when we do it like this. That means it's hump day. Welcome back to the Sports Shop. Sports Shop, Reese K Mac. Doing what we do. We're rocking out this morning. We got the firm. Pam, Thompson, Smith. Good morning. What's up, Pamela? How are you? Well, you know, 
doing what we do. That's right. You know? What we love to do every it's, morning. It's hump day. Coming off of the first round of play-in games yesterday, or last night, rather. I was disappointed Impressed in both. or not. I was disappointed <laughs> in both games. Yeah. Disappointed in both games. One game was a little sadder than the other, but we'll talk about that. Hey, Ty, how you doing this morning? Feeling, I'm doing well, feeling good. Uh Uh-oh, there he goes. Almost switched it up, caught myself. Yeah, doing well, feeling good. Feeling good, doing well. (laughs) (laughs) Sitting back waiting for his Knicks to play. Uh, You're going to be waiting a while. (laughs) This weekend. They have a game, but I don't know if they're going to play. It's okay, though. I mean, they're the Knicks. You know? I don't know what that means, but. I mean, you know, it's, it'll take a while. I don't know. I, I'm. It'll take a while, but y'all, you, you. You, you think know. they're gonna disappoint this? <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 He's like, is that a question? Right. Like, to be like I said, <laughs> something really bad. I mean, it's the New York Knicks. Man, make sure you guys check us out. We are streaming live on YouTube. That's right. We're streaming live on YouTube. The show is coming to you live this morning on YouTube. Check us out, the Sports Shop, Reese K. Mac, on YouTube. Make sure you go out and like and subscribe, and you can stream us live. You can watch the show live Mm -hmm. on your smart television, on your TV. Man, it is a phenomenal experience. You can just see Pam. Pam, what kind of cup you got this morning? Let me see what kind of cup. It says Stay Gold. Stay Gold Cup. Yes. Hey, we're looking for cup sponsors, too, so if you would like to Absolutely. Uh, be a sponsor of our beverage cup on the show, give us a call. 919-890-6200. Yeah, you need a sponsor. We need we need a sponsor for that Stanley Cup that I'm supposed to be <laughs> purchasing. What about what about Stanley? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll just get with them. Maybe it's called Stanley. I don't know. Yeah, maybe CJ should do it. He should be he feeling charitable. Because mm. he ain't doing nothing. CJ McCullough I'm talking about. But anyway, I'm sorry. Giving Y'all told me he was such a hard a time. Game. It was A-town. just a bad game. Man, I don't want to hear that. Hey, Terry, how we doing on the poll question, sir? So the poll question presented by Oak Grove Tech, Golden State is out. Clay Thompson is now a free agent. What do you do as Warriors leadership? Rebuild or run it back? And 86% of people are saying rebuild. Wow. Mm. Wow. Wow, guys. Uh, I don't know how to respond to that, though. Because... I just thought it was a foregone conclusion that if they don't get this thing together, which they did not toward the end of the season, it was already going to be rebuilt. I, the question should be, what does a rebuild look like? What mm. would you like for it to look like? Should Steph stay? If Should is, Steph stay? Wow, that's a whole nother question. Exactly. Because <laughs> we were just talking for? Green and Thompson. Right. I mean, Draymond definitely should go. Draymond actually may he may need to retire actually, but that you know I ain't messing with the man's pocket. You do what you do, uh, but I don't know. If Steph stay, he stay for what? If he goes, where is he going? Where would you like to see him go? I know a perfect. What would place. be a game? I know a he, where he's place. the game changer. I know a perfect place, but it's unfortunate that it's too small for him, mm. and it would be New Orleans. Mm-mm. I think he's first of all he he and Willie about the same age. <laughs> Willie Green, right? The head coach for the Pelicans. He's gonna get rid of Brandon Ingram probably. He ship him out. CJ, bye. Zion stays there with some of that young talent, real talent that wants to win. And I think he I think he could make an impact in New Orleans, but it's too small. Will never work. I don't even want to talk about right. it. Because I, when you said that, my first thought was he he hasn't been able to get any help where he is. Zion can't get any help there, so but, that would But But Steph would be all the help Zion needs. Yeah. Just to be honest with you. I mean, some of those other young guys, maybe one or two other talent, bring them in. Because you get the Kamingas and all those. I mean, mm-hmm. they got similar talent on in the, with the Pelicans right now. Right. So they exactly. have similar talent right now. But what they don't, what they do have, what they, what they have at uh, Golden State that's holding them back, Clay can be on defense all the time, right? It's not his fault. It is what it is. We, look, I'm not saying he's not. He hasn't been a great player. He's just not a great player today. Mm-hmm. There you go. You know what I mean? It's, it's, the, it's the it's the Gilbert Arenas effect in in with Washington, <laughs> right? Right. You know what I mean? He got paid on the back end, mm-hmm. right? He was already he's been injured twice. You know he 
it was what it was, but he got paid for what he did prior to that. Same thing. He's, Clay does, is really getting paid for what he did prior to Absolutely. this last year. Which he deserves. But what do you do? If you stay for Steph, why do you stay? Hmm. Why do you stay? What are you go, What are you going to do differently for me to stay here? Right. And you heard that much? frustration in his comment. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. I mean, what is he going What are you going to do differently for me to stay? Anybody got any ideas? Call me 919-890-6200. <laughs> I say they need a big free agency sp- splash. Mm. You know what I mean? I say they need a big free agency splash. So, that's what I want to see. Other than that, this whole rebuild and drag another player in, another B list player, C list player, couple guys from Europe, try them out. No, this is Steph Curry we talk about. Don't wait. Why would you waste the time with that? Right. You know, they could build a halfway decent team over there with the Lakers. You can't build it in Golden State. You should be able to. They had it. But you gotta have. <laughs> but you gotta have two though. The Lakers have AD mm-hmm. and LeBron. LeBron's. Steph's got. Steph. Oh. Well, I mean, that's all. That's, that's what's left. Show me, show me where, where you know, where something. Remember, else. was it a year ago, or maybe two years ago, when mm-hmm. we were talking about Green being the most important player on the team? Yeah. Well, that was, man, that was really talking that foolishness. I told him that in the beginning. No, no I, way. I mean, I've heard it in a, you know with more people than Reese really feeling that way. That Draymond Green's the most important person on the team. Well, I guess we found out, huh? <laughs> exactly. Because he's been on the team. He ain't seen, I ain't seen him do nothing. <laughs> he hurt the team. Well, that's because you're just mad because he was choking people, Pam. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> hey, real quickly, though, let's hear from um, King's head coach uh, as he talks about uh, – Mike. I mean, King's head coach, Mike Brown, as he talks about what it felt like to beat his old team, uh, the Golden State Warriors. I didn't care who we played. Uh, it, it was about getting a win. And uh, Steve Kerr is the most competitive guy. Blonde hair, blue eyed, good looking dude that looks like the wow. all American guy. But he's about winning. Whoever's in front of him, he wanted to kick my or our ass. And I, trust me, I wanted to kick his because or his team's because they were in front of us. But. You know, in terms of it being Golden State or anybody, I don't care who's in front of us. We want to win. You good looking dude over there. <laughs> I'm still gonna put Blonde my foot. Hair, blue eyes. But I'm still gonna put my foot <laughs> up. <laughs> but you know what though? He, he, That's hilarious. I, these NBA coaches, boy, they they getting real comfortable mm. without here just selling us anything. Now, you know, I know. You wanted to kick the Warriors, first, Revenge. first of all, for last year. Right. Because they're the one that kept you from going anywhere last year. So you should want to be, oh, no, bro, we, you know, run that back. Right. Yeah, I'm, I look, I went home, look, I went I went down south for the summer, so, yeah, yeah, I, look, I gained a couple pounds. But, no, that's not important let's, to me. It's, I do. just want to win. I just it doesn't win. matter, yeah. I just want to win. I'm thinking about last year. I just want to win. Right. Boy, that's about as bad as this next sound bite. <laughs> from the head coach Willie Green, as he lost his star player to injury, Zion, last night, late in the game, as they were making a run to come back for the win, with about three minutes left to go, it goes out. Zion goes out with an injury. You know, nobody knows what it really was. Mm-hmm. And the head coach, after in his post game, this is what he had to say about the injury. You know, his, his left leg uh, soreness, and he's going to get some imaging on it tomorrow, and we'll we'll figure out more. Um, that's the report that I got back. I haven't see, talked to him or anything like that, but we'll see how we feel. We'll see what happens tomorrow when we get the results back. You know, if it was a knee or foot. Uh, I, I I couldn't tell. I, I don't know if it was a knee, foot. Once tomorrow, I'm sure I'll have more of an update of, of what's going on with him. <laughs> Pam. Yes. Now, how he don't know nothing? Yeah, I find that so hard to believe. So you don't know believe. nothing? I mean, maybe he was just... Willie! <laughs> you don't know nothing, Willie? Um, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> exactly! <laughs> I had a game to coach. Trainers, they were helping Zion. Come on, Willie! They'll, they'll call me tomorrow with a report. 
Come in, on, in the morning, Willie. Right? You know, man, I'm going to break. Because Willie, <laughs> <laughs> Willie, you don't know nothing. He don't know. He don't know nothing. He said, first of all, he said it was soreness. What? <laughs> the man just left the court in, like, complete anger. Right. His leg is sore. Willie, you got to do better, coach. <laughs> You got to do better, Coach. I ain't mad at you, bro, but you got to do better. Hey, Tad, what you have Willie Green. The Hilton Raleigh North Hills Hotel and Convention (laughs) Complex located (laughs) on Wake Forest Road has an abundance of guest rooms and meeting space. This hotel continues to be a top destination for meetings, conferences, and events. Enjoy live music Wednesday evenings from 7 to 10 p.m. Email yolanda.diaz at hilton.com or call 919-872-2323 and let them know the sports shop sent you. Man, we come back. We will close out. Let's talk about the games coming up tonight. And what do we have on on, uh, on deck? What should we expect mm, for tonight? Yes. Next on Sports Shop. Let's go. You're listening to The Sports Shop with Reese and K-Mac. Presented by Halsco Linen and Uniform Rental Services. Halsco, the worldwide leader in linen and uniform rental services. For restaurants, healthcare, the automotive industry, and industrial facilities. Listen every afternoon for The Drive with Tim Donnelly. The NC State magical run to the Final Four is over. But we can use all the cliches. Don't cry because it's over. Smile because it happened. All good things must come to an end. When in actuality, it's about the future. How does NC State make sure it's not that one time they had that good run and instead it's something they build off of? That's the challenge for Kevin Keats. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 3-6 to six on 99.9 The Fan. It's Jasmine from The Sports Shop. The Sports Shop is presented in part by Alsco Linen and Uniform Rental Services. Everyone loves the Alsco Injury Report featuring the Alsco First Aid Kit. So stop what you're doing right now and call 919-828-7491 to get your free personal first aid kit. That's right, you can get your own personal first aid kit for free. Call Alsco today at 919-828-7491. Stop what you're doing right now and call 919-828-7491. April is here. And if your windows won't open for fresh air or seal tight to keep out pollen and bugs, then talk to Window Nation right now. For every two windows you buy, you'll get two free. There's no limit to how much you could save. Plus, you could save even more with no interest or payments for 24 months. With proven quality, you'll get affordable windows that meet or beat the national brands. Don't miss out. Call 866-90-NATION or visit windownation.com to schedule your free in-home estimate. Hey everyone, it's Ted from Consumer Cellular, the guy in the orange sweater, and this is your wake-up call. If you're paying too much for wireless service, you don't have to keep having that nightmare. Consumer Cellular has the same fast, reliable coverage as the leading carriers for less. And for a limited time, new customers receive their second month free when they sign up and use promo code MONTHFREE by May 31st. So why keep spending more than you have to? Seriously, wake up and call 1-888-FREEDOM or visit ConsumerCellular.com. Taxes, fees, and other third-party charges will apply. See website for additional details. The Law Offices of Gregory Renault Williams, PLLC, is here to serve your legal needs in the areas of personal injury, estate planning, civil litigation, and traffic matters. Whether you were injured through no fault of your own in an auto accident, or if you need to complete or update your will, your power of attorney, living will, or trust, or if you're injured through breach of contract, contact GRW Law, where we protect the injured and counsel the insured. You can reach us at 919-282-4696, or you can visit us on the web at grw-law.com. Hey, this is Carly, and a little thing I love about the Chick-fil-A Chicken Minis is the combination of flavors. The first thing I always taste is the honey butter. It gets me going in the morning. The Chicken Minis are phenomenal. The roll is soft, and the chicken is crispy. I never had chicken for breakfast before, but they were so good. I told my mom and sister about them, and now they're a family thing. It's the perfect breakfast bite. Breakfast starts with chicken minis and Simply Orange Juice on the Chick-fil-A app. Real customer paid for their testimonial. One in three adults has pre-diabetes. One in three. That means it could be you, your football buddy, your football buddy, or you, your best man, your worst man, you, your dog walker, your cat jogger. While one in three adults has pre-diabetes, with early diagnosis, pre-diabetes can be reversed. Take the risk test at doihaveprediabetes.org. Brought to you by the Ad Council and its pre-diabetes awareness partners. 
We at Genie's Crafted Beverages are a team of microbiologists and an engineer. We share our passion for routine ginger consumption. Ginger is nature's superfood which is full of antioxidants, anti-inflammation and antibacterial properties. This can naturally heal and support wellness. Our wellness shots contain organic ginger, fresh lemon juice and locally sourced honey. To enhance the benefits of ginger, we have wellness shots that are made with cinnamon for heart health, peppermint for for gut health and turmeric for inflammation. We also have kids friendly version, vegan and zero sugar versions. Our ginger syrups are non-alcoholic concentrated syrups that can adapt to your taste. Come see us at the Raleigh's North Carolina State Farmers Market on Friday, Saturday and Sunday from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. to sample a delicious healthy line of products and learn more about the benefits of ginger. You can also visit us at geniesbeverages.com Finish your high school diploma for you and your family. Visit finishyourdiploma.org to find free adult education centers near you. Brought to you by the Dollar General Literacy Foundation and the Ad Council. This hour of Buzz Sports Radio is brought to you by the Ritchie Law Firm Injury Lawyers. Go to gotbrian.com. That's gotbrian.com. Drill that field. That one back. That one going. Real fan analysis, good vibes, the sports shop on Buzz Sports Radio and WRAL Sports Plus TV. What more could you I ask woke for? Up this morning, y'all. That's the best way to do it. The sun was shining oh so brightly. Well. I thought about how good this life is. Thought like about how good my wasn't life is. Always like this. I days think about when it always like this. Been That's right. I think about the place that I come from. It wasn't always easy. So every day I'm thinking God for the beautiful people everywhere yes. I go. I just need to see your smiling faces at my show. And when you feel the real love from the family, every day is a gift. Yo, I love it. All I it's a reminder of how blessed you are. It's a beautiful life. Welcome back to the Sports Shop. The Sports Shop recently came in. You got me. What more could I ask for? Beautiful life. Look at Pam. I don't know. I got it. Good job, Pam. I, like I got a beautiful life. I like it. Like every, every now and then, I think you do have an ear. <laughs> <laughs> every now and then. Most time, you be Ooh. way, you, you be, you be three tracks off. Come to church on Sunday <laughs> with me. You, don't, you want to think that's the only time mm. I'm off? Yeah, I would look. Why? So I can f- figure out who it is that be turning your mic down. <laughs> <laughs> they you, don't. You didn't know they do. They do. They don't turn my yeah, mic. You, you, down. You, they you, do not turn you, my mic. I'm down. telling you, you don't know it. I lead. I, I'm telling you, Pam. They turn your mic down. You think you lead? No, it's you, like a smaller church. You got to get up, go to the. Oh, back. Oh yeah, go do it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, you don't have a board operator. You don't have no, nobody no, operator board. Not that kind. <laughs> we ain't got there yet. <laughs> yeah. Now that might happen if we. <laughs> yeah, the sound guy be like, yeah, I got it, I got it. Yeah. <laughs> but when the sound guy is the keyboard player and the drum, yeah, <laughs> you, know, you can't. They don't. They can't just get up. He reach over there, pull your mic down. Yeah, they can't do that. Mm. Crazy. Not that I would do that to anyone. Oops. Just saying. No. Sometimes it's all about the experience though. So good job. Mm-hmm. Make sure you guys check us out. Check us out on our YouTube. We're streaming live. You can check the show out. Uh on our YouTube po- page, the Sports Shot Recent K Mac. Just go out there and search Sports Shot Recent K Mac. And you'll see it. Like and subscribe the page and you get everything you need. We got right. A Town back there behind the glass. What's up, A? I'm doing well. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, okay. I see what we're doing here. Now. <laughs> I see what we're doing here now. We, we look. We, we're working. On, we, we got a vibe. You know That's I mean? it. Got a vibe. Fine. Got a flow. I got it. Beautiful life. How we doing on the poll question? <laughs> <laughs> so, the poll question presented by Oak Grove Tech: Golden State is out. Clay Thompson is now a free agent. What do you do as Warriors leadership? Rebuild or run it back? And eighty-six percent of people are saying rebuild. Mm. Oh. They don't want to let it go. Uh, what does that mean? Rebuild. Rebuild. I think you should just let them all go. I mean, what if, 
What if Steph decided, well, I think he can't anyway, so he can't leave anyway. But, I mean. They can still build around him. Well, can they? But you got that $100 million man. Let it go. <laughs> just forego the money. Just let it go. It's, it's worth a, it's, it on the back look, end. Look at, exactly. Mm -hmm. it's, look at it as a buyout. Right. You know what I mean? Like, you drove, it's like a, I don't know, like leasing a car. Mm -hmm. It's really, really, really low payments, right, for people that are leasing cars. Yeah. But if you go over the mileage <laughs> and you get more than expected. Then you end up paying more than what you would have paid for the car. Well, hold on. But you already got the value out of it and didn't pay for it at the time. That's true. And now you're paying for it when it's time to, you know, trade That's it back in. Know. Time to trade it back in. Mm -hmm. So now it's time to trade Draymond in. My, and you got to pay. Draymond was the car you were talking about. <laughs> Draymond was the car. <laughs> Draymond was the car. Draymond is the car. Okay. He's trying to trade him in. Yeah. And you got to pay. You got to pay. You you over the mile. You got to pay for him. You got to pay. Clay Thompson. You owe. I mean, you got to pay for him. He's trying to trade him in. You got to pay. That's all this is. Yeah. That's all this is. And most of the time, they put you back in a brand new. Well, that's what Steph's hoping. <laughs> <laughs> Steph, Steph's, looking, car. Steph's looking for a brand new car. Hey, real quickly, uh, let's switch gears before we get into the nice games. Um, Pam, you said that there's some breaking news about um, <laughs> about the Dallas Cowboys. You wanted to, you wanted to uncover? Well, I was just reading this article. Uh, uh -huh. Even the title of the article is kind of cute, but voted off the island okay. <laughs> inside Bill Belichick's failed job hunt. Oh, I'm I'm. I am curious. So it talks about <laughs> how he, you know, really up until the last few hours um, when it, the Atlanta Falcons hired uh, Coach Morris that he thought the job was his. Okay. So and how disappointing that was. Um, and now it could very well be that, you know, he wouldn't mind coming to work for Jerry. He wouldn't mind coming to them boys. Okay, hold on wait a minute. Let's, let's, <laughs> let's rewind real quickly. So really, what you're telling me is he thought that he had the job until somebody called him for a reference. Evidently, and yeah. The and the reference went bad. Yeah. And like, the and the reference was oh, you, do you know? Oh uh, um, no, no, I don't know. Give, us, oh, give well, us a little bit more detail. Okay. Apparently, Robert Kraft, the Pat's owner, no, mm -hmm. warned warned them not to trust uh, <laughs> Belichick. And that's why he... <laughs> that was the reference. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Yes. And Bob Kraft did him. Did him dirty. And so if he goes <laughs> to Dallas, then he'll be doing that. I mean, you know, that would be wait, a good way to get wait, back at Bob. Wait, you are telling me <laughs> Bob Kraft hit him with the if I look, I can't comment on former employers, but you know, of course you can assume how his tenure here ended. Huh? I was just you you gonna give us a reference? I just gave you all I can give you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but Bob Crabb went all he went all in. Well, if it was me, I wouldn't do it. That's all I'm gonna say. If it was that good, I'd have kept it. That part. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? Can you tell Bob Crabb did it? That's that's what it says. Yeah. ESPN. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> So now Jerry now he's like, Well, let me go over here with Jerry <laughs> and stick it to Crabb. <laughs> Oh boy, <laughs> it could have to a better person. <laughs> Go, Lord, <laughs> it's gonna be interesting. It could have to a better person. Bill Belichick got done by his old cheaters. They were all in it together. You always got that one's gonna turn on you. It turned on him. Mm -hmm. Boy, I tell you, jailhouse nigga, but it got him. Got him. They got him. Bob Kraft got him. Uh, Miss Kraft, we were uh, we were wondering. Um, <laughs> if you could give us a little insight into what it was like working with Bill, you know, in the championships that you guys won and the dynasty that you built, mm -hmm, because we mm -hmm. were, we were extremely interested in having him come in and um, mm -hmm. be a part of the uh, the family, be a part of the organization. <laughs> I'm not sure I would recommend that if I was you. What? But, but Miss Graff, y'all won like seven championships together. Yep. Yeah, he's not the same Bill that that I knew. <laughs> He's changed. <laughs> He's changed. <laughs> Bob Crab sabotaged him. Uh, oh well. In the, in the ninth hour. In the ninth hour. What you got tonight, Pam? What you feel? What you feel in these games coming up tonight? What do you feel? I don't know. Real I don't quickly. know. 
I'm not sure. You don't yet. know? Yeah. Okay. We got Miami. We got the 76ers. We got I mean, the Hawks and we got the Bulls. You got to go with the 76ers. Now this, I mean, now I this game to. right here, the Hawks and the Bulls, I'm like, <sighs> you gonna be asleep. Yeah, like, what, what is that? Yeah. The Hawks and the Bulls. I'm going 76ers. See you on the other side, people. We in Georgia. Much love to you. We'll see you, you on the other side. Listen things. every afternoon for The Drive with Tim Donnelly. The NC State magical run to the Final Four is over. But we can use all the cliches. Don't cry because it's over. Smile because it happened. All good things must come to an end. When in actuality, it's about the future. How does NC State make sure it's not that one time they had that good run and instead it's something they build off of. That's the challenge for Kevin Keats. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 3 to 6 on 99.9 The Fan. Are you a high-class smoker? Smoking professionally begins with pre-